be alive because your wealth is your health. And once you're taking good care of your health, yes, you're on the right path. Welcome to Healthy Living on Job Television. My name is Olua Femi Odunto. It's good to always give thanks to God, especially when you're alive. Always say, thank you, Jesus. When you sleep and wake up peacefully, when you're in good health, when you eat at the right time, take the right vegetables and drink lots and lots of water. And not to forget to exercise. Always give thanks to God. It's Healthy Living, and just in case you're just joining us for the first time, or you just tuned to Dove Television, is all about your health. We're always here to pass you information at the right time, at the right given spot. Information that will help us, that will help our friends and neighbors, families around us, about our health. All these and many more we do here on Healthy Living. I'm not here alone. A lot of you might be wondering that, oh, she might be here with Dr. Priscilla in my day, but I'm here to surprise you. I have Dr. Chisholm all the way from the Redeemer's Health Center at the Redemption Campground. We have Dr. Chisholm Anedu. Ha! I pronounce it well. <laughs> Anedu. <laughs> Kedu Kodi. Kodi, ma. Ha ha! You see? Hey, I'm part of it now. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir, for coming on all this right. program. It's, it's really, good to have you. Yeah, it's really my pleasure of being your miss today. Mm. Yes. Thank you, sir. And I know this is not your first time of coming to Dove Television. Yes. Thank you so much. He's an optometrist at the Redeemer's um, Health Center here at the Redemption Campground. Now we're about to proceed on today's topic, which I want everyone to stay glue on your TV, wherever you are, any part of this continent. is a topic where you don't want to miss, you want to get the right information. Just like the Bible says that obedience is better than sacrifice. So we'd like Dr. Chisholm to kindly lead us in a short prayer while we proceed on today's topic thank you okay shall we pray in jesus name amen heavenly father i will bless you for yet another time we want to celebrate um, this year's world glaucoma week and lord we are here not because of our power but your grace and mercy has made it possible as we proceed Take perfect control over today's program in Jesus' name. Amen. Help our viewers to understand the essence of this program and help us also to make blindness a thing that will be far-fetched. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Chisholm. I probably want to put a pastor in your <laughs> name also. <laughs> All right, you've mentioned it during the prayer, uh, the World uh, Glycoma uh, Day. Mm -hmm. That's the week yes. we're celebrating it. And um, a lot of people might be asking, uh, what is glycoma? <laughs> what is happening again? Oh, um, our presenter in Dove Television. Well, it's something that I know that a uh, few years back, I and Dr. Priscilla Made talked about it as the World Glycoma Day. We, she, a week, she came on platform to talk about glycoma. A lot of people have heard about, um, uh, you know, we're talking about this uh, one that causes blindness too. Cataracts. Uh, mm -hmm. Cataracts. And uh, people might be wondering, okay, can cataracts be reversed? Which you yes, also explained that it can be reversed. Yes. But when it comes to glaucoma, glaucoma it cannot. It's an irreversible cause of blindness. Wow. Now let's, let's, let's look at what glaucoma is. Let's okay. just refresh the mind once again. Okay. Now, um, glaucoma is. Let me start from the basics. The eye has um, what we call intraocular pressure, and the intraocular pressure is usually maintained at a certain level. If the pressure in the eyes is higher than the normal acceptable range. The nerves in the eye, the optic nerve, is a nerve that connects the eyes to the brain. Mm -hmm. So the, a, a high intraocular pressure, traditionally the normal range is between 11 to 21 millimeter of mercury. So any pressure higher than 21, sustained for a long period of time, affects the nerves mm -hmm. in the eyes, thereby leading, leading to gradual loss of the nerves in the eyes, to be more specific, the optic nerves. When these nerves die off, vision gradually is lost. Mm. And then it's a gradual process. Medically, we refer, refer to it as a chronic progressive disorder. So it's a gradual process that occurs for a long time. Mm. And 
the person suffering from glaucoma would not, may not be aware of this condition because it steals, like the topic says, the silent blinding disease. Mm. It steals the vision from the side, which what is what we call visual field. That's mm. visual field means how wide you can see. Mm. So it's, it gradually steals the visual field of the person. Mm -hmm. And then if this occurs for a long time, the person might lose vision and then may in the long run go blind. It may occur in one eye, it may occur in both eyes, but one eye usually could be more progressive mm. than the other. Mm. So that's what the glaucoma entails. Mm. The silent thief of sight. Mm. Because it doesn't give any symptom mm. except for some types of glaucoma. Mm. We have different types of glaucoma. Okay. So the popularly common one is the open angle glaucoma, okay. which occurs in majority of the cases. The other one that comes with some severe pain, redness of the eyes, um, headaches, tendency to vomit, is called the angle closure glaucoma. Oh, so there's something like that, yes, so that yes. you have the tendency to throw up, throw you up. have the tendency to have constant headache, headaches, you have yes. the constant, so when you see someone that the eyes is always, you know, being red at every given point in time, the person keeps complaining, I feel like throwing up, I feel like it's not the other, you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> So, um, provided the person has an examined, mm. that will be able to draw it, reach a, a conclusive diagnosis mm. to be sure if it's actually the angle closure glaucoma or if there is any other eye condition causing mm. that. Mm. So, but the most common one is the open angle glaucoma. Now, in my definition of glaucoma, I mentioned the intraocular pressure, which is the pressure in the eye being higher than a normal range. It doesn't necessarily need to be a high pressure. Hmm. before glaucoma sets in. Okay. So that leads me to another type of glaucoma. We have what we call the low or the, n n the, low or the normal tension glaucoma. Hmm. So in this type, the pressure is usually within the normal range, okay. but yet when we look at the back of the eyes of such an individual, we see some characteristic damage to the optic nerve. Hmm. And so we may need to investigate further to actually decide if this is actually a case of glaucoma or not. Mm. So we are, they have different types of glaucoma, but we are more common uh, with the open angle glaucoma. Mm. Now Why is it common? Because it affects the more of the population mm. than the other ones. Mm. And then um, a case of high pressure may not even mean that the person has glaucoma. That leads me to ocular hypertension. Mm. So ocular hypertension is a condition in which the pressure in the eye is usually higher than normal, but yet we are not seeing any characteristic damage to the nerve. Okay. Such individuals could be termed as glaucoma suspects. Okay. So we usually monitor them over time and we, mm. we enable, um, we help them to bring down the pressure to the normal range and still monitor them. Because if we don't manage that high pressure, even if not causing damage at that time, in future, there could be some damage to the optic nerve. Okay, now I want to ask, that um, glaucoma has number of range of people that it can affect, or is it that it costs across to whether you are young or old, or even a baby too? I okay. want to understand that part okay, now. Okay, that's a very good question. Glaucoma affects all age. Hmm. We have congenital or juvenile or what we call developmental glaucoma, which affects children in the intrauterine um, stage of life. If there is an abnormality in the formation of the drainage channels in the eyes, more specifically, um, the anterior chamber mm. has a drainage channel known as a trabecular meshwork. These are medical terms. Just mm. um, that's I was just looking yes. at you, yeah, because I know <laughs> <a lot laughs> <of people, laughs> the doctor you're using the medical Okay, terms, so, so the trabecular meshwork is a point in the at the front of the eyes through which the fluid produced in the eyes. The fluid produced in the eye is called the aqueous humor. Okay. So this is what accounts for. Um, changes in the intraocular pressure. The fluid produced in the eyes should 
be the rate of production should be equal to the rate of um, drainage. There should be an equilibrium between the production and the drainage of this fluid. Now, if there is an abnormality at the drainage channel, there is usually raised intraocular pressure. For a child that has a developmental ab abnormality in the drainage channel, maybe it wasn't formed properly, hmm. could be given birth to even with glaucoma. In that case, we look at it as congenital glaucoma. Hmm. Such children, most times, may or may not, we, we may not be able to do much at okay. in such cases, hmm. depending on the grade. But there are most cases whereby the glaucoma may not have taken its toll at that time. That's what we call juvenile glau glaucoma. So the person g gets to a certain age, maybe three years, and then it starts to occur. So we would need an aggressive intervention mm. to enable such child to still regain his, his or her sight and mm. for him to still see for a longer time. Mm. So, so apart from a child too, an so adult? Now, yes. Now, let's, this should take me to the risk factors. Okay. Now, glaucoma can affect um, any individual, like I said, but mm. more in adults from the age of 50 years and above. But in the black race, glaucoma takes a more aggressive course. So we have glaucoma occurring even at 30, 40 years. So that's why we advocate for um, regular eye check once you've gotten to the age of 40, even at 30. So then race is something we should look at. The Africans and the blacks, they are more predisposed to mm. developing glaucoma than the whites. Why? Probably it could be because of our melanin. Okay. Although much glaucoma is a disease that we don't fully understand even till this. Mm. Res research is still ongoing to, dis to determine this, the, the actual cause of glaucoma. Mm. The only cause of glaucoma which we can control is the um, intraocular pressure. Mm. When the intraocular pressure, like I said, is high, that is the only cause of glaucoma we can control. So we tend to control the pressure to enable um, the person um, gain or retain his or her vision. Now, apart from the black race, um, glaucoma can affect um, um, people that have diabetes. Mm. They are more predisposed to having glaucoma, mm. hypertension mm. as well. But recently, studies show that even low blood pressure can also, can also cause glaucoma. Ha, and why is, is this? So, so once you just yes. don't play with your health at all, you don't have to joke with it. Exactly. Oh. So why is this so? Because once the pressure of the blood is low, low. there is what we call reduced ocular perfusion, oh. meaning that there is no proper supply of blood, even to the eye. And then this can lead to nerve damage as well. Oh. So th those are some, um, some things we also look at. Also, um, glaucoma affects, the angle closure glaucoma affects females more than males. Oh, I must ask why Because you the, the, female, the uh, females have a smaller eyeball. And then generally, they have I'm a, a smaller eyeball <laughs> <laughs> compared to the male counterparts. Okay. And having a smaller eyeball means that the drainage channel will be a bit reduced, reduced okay. than the normal size. So they are more predisposed to developing angle closure glaucoma than the male counterparts. Mm. So other uh, risk factors, smoking, people that always smoke. Mm. smoke smoking ha adds no, medic no, no health benefits to an to individual. Mm. Instead, it's poison being, um, being plunged into our system. So it increases the risk of developing glaucoma. Alcohol consumption as well. Well, all these are risk factors, factors of glaucoma. Of glaucoma. Uh, can, uh, okay, now, can it be passed from one generation to yes, another? Yes, very important. Mm. Uh, it's, that's that's keep my memory. The the rate at which glaucoma is um, being spread is four to about four to nine times more in a, a situation whereby there is a history. So mm. if there's a family history of glaucoma, you stand a higher chance of even catching the um, the disease. So you should even go a step further to have your eye examined on a regular basis. But most time, th the disease glaucoma can be very um, deceptive in the sense it may skip a whole generation without occurring and then occur in the next generation. generation. Really? Yes. Mm. So glaucoma is actually hereditary. Mm. So there is usually family history about glaucoma. glaucoma. Mm. Yeah. 
Uh, I know that um, in cataracts, uh, the last time Dr. Priscilla Imadeo was here, she talked about cataracts, and I know that cataracts it can be treated. Yes. But glaucoma, can we treat glaucoma? Glaucoma. Or once it okay. leads to blindness, and that's all. Now, glaucoma is, like I said, um, is an irreversible cause of blindness mm. worldwide. It's the mm. leading cause of irreversible blindness worldwide. worldwide. Cataract is the leading cause of blindness. Cataract, ca we can regain vision mm. in a case of cataract after a surgery has been done by an ophthalmologist. But glaucoma, once the nerves have been damaged, we can't regain vision. Because the eye, the nerves in the eyes are so sensitive. Once they have undergone some degenerative processes, yeah. we can't do anything except God intervenes. Mm. And currently, we have research, all the research going on, stem cells to see if they can do something about regaining. But that is an ongoing process, mm. which is still under, um, is still being looked at. Mm. So, but for now, we can't do much. Mm. There is a debate up on what we call neuroprotection. Okay. Neuroprotection entails we could have a drug mm. that will protect the, the, the optic nerve such that even though the pressure is high, mm. the nerves will be protected. But we've not been able to arrive at a conclusive um, um, answer. Yes, mm. as regards that. And there are lots of debates on that um, um, practice. Mm. But what um, we healthcare professional, what we do, if we have a case of um, glaucoma, okay, so that's we have something yeah. there: the normal vision and the glaucoma. Okay, um, okay. that um, the, the the normal vision, like you can see, if I go by that diagram, mm. the picture there shows the picture of the eye, the anatomy of the eye. Okay, and then the other one the that has the circle is showing the the flow of fluid, aqueous fluid in the eyes. So that one is showing that there's build up of pressure in the eyes. Mm. And just like a balloon, when you're blowing the balloon and when the pressure builds up, it gets to a point, it becomes very rigid and, Rid and, yeah. and, and hard when mm. you palp it. Mm. So that's what occurs in that second picture, showing mm. us that the pressure has built up to a certain level. Mm. So mm. that's what the glaucoma entails. Okay, so, so sir, please, you were about to say something then when we saw the diagram, you were able okay. to explain, yeah. Okay, talking about the, the, the fact that the neuroprotection is still under debate and mm. so we may not be able to go by the treatment involving it but we healthcare professionals we still try our best to still provide some solutions mm. to that mm. so we can still give some drugs that could still help the nerve mm. there's a popular one known as optic nerve formula okay. which is also good for glaucoma patients mm. Mm. so that's so you know you, you were saying that people should check their eyes regularly okay. aside from doing the normal checkup of your body yes. the eyes is also very important yes. i know uh, quite a number of times uh, um, the optometrist that usually She's always here on, she's always saying, go and check your eyes. Go and check. Your, but a lot of us tend to run away from that. <laughs> because <laughs> people, I hope it's not too expensive in checking eyes though. Um, it's something that I think we can assess. Mm if you can't assess a private eye clinic, you can assess the, um, the government's own um, facilities, mm. teaching hospitals, the medical centers. Redeemer's Health Center. Yes, mm. uh, mission, mission owned and mm. at least subsidized to some extent. Mm. So you can have uh, your eyes examined comprehensively. But in this part of the world, we have people that patronize um, roadside um, <laughs> um, eyeglass sellers. Wow. And then when they have an issue with their eye, they go to buy the road and buy already yes. made reading glasses which mm. is not the the right thing you the, such individuals could have some conditions which they may not know mm. so the right thing is when you have an issue with your eyes you assess an eye clinic mm. so that your eyes will be examined properly and now this should lead me to how do we diagnose glaucoma in mm. a clinical setting mm. we have several tests we carry out. We don't just look and, s and rely on one test. Mm. Now I've mentioned looking in the eyes. That's a process we call fundoscopy. Okay. So we look at the fundus of the eye to examine and see if there is damage to the optic nerve to be able to decipher what to do. If we are seeing damages, we could also go further to check the eye pressure. Mm. 
So checking the pressure of the eyes, we have instruments known as the intraocular pressure um, testing instrument, the tonometer. Mm. We check the pressure to get the normal range of the pressure. It could be the type that touches your eye. It could be the one that puffs air into your eye. So checking the pressure will give us an idea. Mm. Then we can also check that picture that was brought out initially. Mm. If you look at that picture, you see that there's a point of the eye known as a cornea. The okay. front of the eye. Mm. Looking at your eye, okay. there's the a trans... The picture yes. is back again. Now, the, the very front of the eye is called the cornea. Okay. Normally, it's a transparent structure. That's why when you look at the eye of an individual, you see the um, colored part known as the iris. But there is actually a structure covering that colored part. That's mm. called the cornea. Mm. And that is the part we used to see, clearly. Mm. So now, checking the pressure, the corneal thickness has an effect on pressure. Mm. So we also do corneal thickness check, which is called parchymetry. Okay. To ascertain if there is a thin cornea mm. and or a thick cornea. Mm. People that have thin corneas would have an abnormally low intraocular pressure. Okay. And so most time most most of them may be misdiagnosed. But people that have thick corneas can have an exaggeratedly high intraocular pressure. And they, such people can be just be managed unnecessarily, meanwhile they don't have mm. glaucoma. So the parchymetry is an important test in glaucoma. And then the visual field test. Glaucoma, like I said, affects your wideness of vision, which wow. is called visual field. Mm. It's gradually, it could start with one eye, mm. it could start with both eyes, bo or maybe more aggressive in one eye than the other. Mm. So it's, it reduces the field of view of the individual until we have what we call tunnel vision. Mm. So the person looking at you may not be able to see by the side, except he or she turns the head sideways. So that is like an advanced stage. Okay, no, and no, I'm, I'm yeah. trying something now. I'm trying to see if I can see what is with. I can see what is Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you still need to come to the clinic to be, uh, to be examined. Yeah. Doctor, <laughs> you are here. You will examine everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, sir. So I, I'm just trying to see, to yes. check. You know, you are talking and I'm trying yes. to see. Yeah, I can see somebody's behind me. Yes, I know who exactly. that person is, but I just won't mention <laughs> it. I know so that's what we call confrontational visual field test. You can actually do it by yourself, mm. you understand? And then you see, as I'm looking at you, I can see my hand. But we don't rely on this only. Mm. We, we need a visual field analyzer. It's an instrument that assesses how wide an individual sees. And then there are other ones. The gonioscopy assesses the angle because glaucoma has to do with the drainage channel to see if it's an open angle or a closed angle. Mm. And then we have a more recent instrument known as the optical coherence tomography. This instrument helps to detect early glaucoma. Mm. The visual field may not, but the, the OCT, which is the, sh the acronym for that, could detect early glaucoma. Mm. It analyzes the nerve fiber layer to mm. see if there is any damage going on. So mm. these, are what we, these are the tests carried out because glaucoma is a disease. We don't rely on one test. We want to do everything so that we give the patient the best care they deserve. Mm. And the management of glaucoma involves the optometrists and also the ophthalmologists. Okay. So we manage together. Mm. And there are cases whereby we'll need to refer to the ophthalmologist for surgical intervention. Okay. So that leads me to treatment. How do we manage glaucoma? Mm. We manage with eye drops, okay. um, which is the more traditional way, traditional way of managing um, glaucoma. Most times we need to combine more than one eye drop wow. so that we can get a target pressure. If a patient comes with a high pressure, our target is to bring the pressure to a certain, certain level. level. So if one drop is not enough, we need to include another one. Or we have newer eye drops we call combination eye drops mm. that has two eye drops combined in one bottle. Apart from the eye drops, we also have laser, laser mm. treatment. Okay. And it's a very nice procedure that ha is complication free, okay. although we could have little cases that still may not turn out well. Mm. And then the last is the the incisional surgical um, s um, procedures, popularly mm. known as a trabeculectomy. Okay. So these are the treatment modalities for glaucoma management. Mm. And mm. so a patient needs to be examined and we'll find out what is the best treatment for this 
okay. looking at her. I think we'll, we'll come back to what is the best treatment. Because okay. I know definitely that Dr. Chisum is going to check my eyes today. <laughs> so on that note, we'd like to go on a quick break. When we come back, Elder Living is still on on Dope Television. Please don't go away. Remember, the phone lines will be open up uh, when we're back from the short break. Don't go away. Thank you. All right. Heavens International Center. I believe that what you see and hear here will arouse your faith and your life will never remain the same. Challenge God using what you see here as a point of contact to your miracle. In the week of glycoma, creating awareness, uh, letting people to know that uh, we need to check our eyes at every moment, at every second, especially those of us that, you know, 24 hours, always on the system, you're working day in, day out, every day. We still have our doctor here with us in the house, uh, is an optometrist all the way from the Redeemer's Health Center here at the Redemption Campground in Ogo State, Nigeria. Looking at the topic, glycoma. For those of you that have been part of Healthy Living, you like to call us or you want to send us an SMS, this is the eye point, this is the eye time. But remember to always mute the volume on your TV set before you pass your call through to us. Call us and ask question. Now, Dr. Chisum Aneidu is still here with us. Ah, you see, uh, um, 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 but anu masuibo, obele, obele. Now, let me translate that. Okay. Yes, I'm a Yoruba lady, but I also speak Igbo. Little of it, I have a knowledge of it, okay? You should. You should. <laughs> <laughs> Very soon I will speak Ausa. <laughs> Just permit me, okay? Don't, don't worry. All right, um, we're looking at the best um, option or best management, yes, yes. treatment, because, you know, I, I, I want to ask for every individual, there are different methods for it. Okay. So now, what's the best treatment? Now, that, that, that will be determined by the doctor after assessing you and examining your eyes and then that also has to do with follow up glaucoma is a condition that you don't manage on your own hmm. follow up is very paramount hmm. in managing glaucoma why why because most times for the eye drops in the long run the eye drops could stop working well hmm. for most people so if you're managing on your own hmm not coming for your regular follow or maybe on a monthly, two monthly or three monthly basis as the case may be, this, the, the time that the eye drop st stops working, you wouldn't be able to um, discover that, mm. except you come to the clinic and we check and say that the pressure is not coming down as it used to be. So mm. regular follow up is paramount. Mm. The best treatments would be determined by the 
the eye drop that works. If the eye drop works well, fine. But if we, we are having issues of reaction mm -hmm. with certain eye drops, we could change. We, ha we have various classes of eye drops used to mm -hmm. manage glaucoma. Okay. Then laser, in this part of the world, most people are always scared when they hear surgery. But um, we have newer m and more um, um, surgical methods that are complication free. Mm or very low complication, which if done, the person might not need to be on the eye drops or may just need to be on maybe one eye drop. Okay. So most of these surgical methods, we shouldn't, patients shouldn't be scared of them. Gone are those days whereby we have um, surgeries that are done and probably may not turn out well due to some factors. Mm. Well now, now we, we have, have better technologies yes, and all that. Yes. There is a popular one, the selective laser trabeculoplasty, okay. SLT. It's a very good procedure. Mm. But your doctor would have to examine you and see if you're a good candidate for that. Mm. Um, so that an procedure. examination has to be taken yes. so that you don't get scared that ah, they want yes. to examine, uh, how to have uh, an operation you yes. know, uh, yes. performed in my yes. eyes so and I'm scared You have to be examined to mm. decide which strategy will be adopted to manage mm. glaucoma. Mm. Mm. Okay, what sorry. other information do we need to know about, about glaucoma? glaucoma? Now, mm. aside... Because I know you're celebrating the week the now. Yes, yeah. Now, okay, I think a question just popped into my mind now. So can I come for a free eye test? Because a lot of people say, okay, I the week has been celebrated now. We are celebrating like World Glaucoma Day. Okay. There should be free eye tests. There should be free eyeglasses. There should be, you know, <laughs> that's <laughs> examine the eyes. Dr. Chisom have said it. We have a caller. Uh, Omolola from Lagos. Can we have Omolola? Hello? Hello? Oh, we lost that. Omolola from Lagos, please kindly call us back. Now, to my question again. Do we have a free eye test? Can people come to Redeemer's Health Center and do that checkup because we're celebrating it or we're creating awareness? Um, actually, we don't have such in place okay. for now. Mm. Um, probably we, we could work on that. Mm. Um, but we advise patients not to wait till we have free eye tests before having their eyes examined. Mm. Because I keep saying this, next to life, God's, precious, God's most precious gift to mankind is our sight. Mm. So you don't need to allow um, glaucoma Mm. Um, to, crop. to come and steal that vision from you. Mm. The, the Bible says the thief cometh not, mm. but for to steal, steal. To, to kill, kill and, and destroy. destroy. Now I would say glaucoma. So glaucoma has <laughs> come to kill, to <laughs> steal, and to destroy. So don't allow glaucoma to do that. Take a step. Go mm. for an eye examination. Mm. Have your eye tested. Mm. 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 All right. So what are the um, information? So there are some informations beyond drugs and surgery. What else can we do mm. to regain or to manage our vision? Now, healthy living, just like the program is, entails food, uh, the, f uh, the choices we make as with regards to our diets. Mm. We should try to eat healthily. We'll come back yeah. to we should try to eat healthily. healthily. Felicia from Kaduna. Can we have Felicia? Thank you for calling. Hello? Good morning, Ma. Thank you for calling, Felicia. Please go ahead with your question. Please, ma, is it possible for one to buy three eyeglasses at once or is it better to buy it one by one? Because some of the opticians we need to, to buy like two that in case you lost one or you keep one in your system and keep one at home. Is it ideal to buy three at once or just buy one or two? All right, thank you, Felicia. That's a question. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think she was meant to say some optometrists who say you should buy three mm. or two, although. We have opticians that also, like I said, roadside glass seller. So I'm not sure of which she's referring to. Mm. Now, it depends on the person. Um, no doctor would force you to, um, after the test, to make or to process two or three glasses. But most patients, most time, demand for that. Most people would tell you, if I get one, I can easily misplace it. So then we can advise, okay, if you can afford it, you could get a spare one. Maybe if you, if you use glasses regularly, you could keep one in your office. Mm -hmm. You could keep one at home. Mm. You could keep one in the car. Mm. Most people get even have more than... I've seen patients that come and they will say, no, I want like three pairs. Mm. So it's something that comes from the patients. Mm. So, and then we advise accordingly. Mm. So, 
Okay, so you advise accordingly. So buy and manage as your pockets. Can. If you want to get three, you can get you it just can, in case yes. the other one might yes. might have fault or yeah. something. Okay, so so. So I was talking about beyond drugs and surgery. What else can we do? And I mentioned healthy living, eat healthily, try to take more of green veggies, vegetables, mm. because they have um, antioxidants, mm. popularly lutein, mm -hmm. zeaxanthin, some vitamins, even citrus fruits. Mm. So all these, they help to increase blood flow to mm. the eyes. Mm. Then also we should cut back on uh, fat consumption. Fats. Consumption, consumption. And favor from Lagos, mm. please. Right. We'll come back to you. Okay. Favor from Lagos. Hello, favor. Please go ahead with your question. Thank you for calling. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Hello. Yes, favor. Please go ahead. Thank you. Okay, I just want to speak to the doctor. Okay. I have him feel very well. I even what to tell him when I'm reading. I hardly say they work very well. So I don't know. So to ask the doctor, what should I do? Okay. Mm. Okay. Um, difficulty reading um, could occur in, mostly occurs in elderly patients okay. from 40 years okay. and above. Okay. That's a condition we known as presbyopia. Okay. So there are also younger ch um, um people that may have that difficulty reading, those people may be long-sighted hyperopia or even may have astigmatism. So whatever the eye issue is, you take a step to go to the eye clinic so that a refraction test for glasses will be done. Okay. And then the right um, um, power of lenses mm. or the spectacle prescription will be given to you. Okay. You shouldn't go, like I said, to the quacks and buy um, reading glasses. Most people could get away with it, but some others may not. Mm. So that's my advice. Go okay. to the clinic, have your eye tested, and glasses will be given to you. Okay, we have a question that will go back to taking of the vegetables. Yeah. Watching Healthy Living right now, the mom is 77, she has done several t t eye tests, even in the UK. Okay. But she was told that the pressure in the eyes has has to come down which hasn't even with all the drugs she has been using but she has lost vision in one eye and the other is getting dim she was using cat, uh, catalin but it's not available presently okay. what alternative drug or medication can she use now catalin was she told that she has glaucoma I don't know. She because just said one, one okay. she has lost one. one. So the other one is getting dim. dim. We'll come to that question. We have Ajay from Ogun State. Hello, Ajay. Thank you for calling. Can you please speak up? We can hear you. Hello? Yes, we can hear you now. Please speak up. Thank you for calling. Okay. Uh, I'm Ajay from Ogun uh, Okay, good morning. good morning. I want to talk to the, the doctor. You are on with the doctor. I'm Please go ahead. Thank you. Okay. Doctor, I have a... I went to the hospital for several times. The, the person, the consultant said that I have a cloudy vision. Mm. So I have cloudy vision. Okay. I think you are trying to listen to the uh, television. Please, we're going to cut you off there, Mr. Jai. Cloudy vision. Thank you. Please, doctor. Okay. Cloudy vision could be caused by cataracts, could be caused by some other conditions, refractive errors, macular degeneration. So depending on what could be causing the cloudy vision, we have treatment modalities for each of them. If it's cataract, then he would require a surgery. And that leads me to the question that was... Ask, yes, the, lo yeah. the loss of vision yes. and what other eyes getting dim. dim. Now, she mentioned Catalin eye drop. Catalin mm. eye drop is not, is not an eye drop for glaucoma. Okay. So, it's an eye drop used for people that have maybe early developing cataracts okay. that's not matured. Mm. But I am an advocate for cataract surgery. Once the cataract is matured, go and have it removed mm. and you regain your vision using she's the eye drop. yes she, she can provided she's not diabetic 
and she's in a good state of health. She can't do this surgical mm. procedure. Mm. Mm. So well, okay, so please, uh, if your mom is still around, you can bring her to Redeemer's Health Center and ask for Dr. Chisum, and um, you know, get more more of the cancer because yes. today she's of age, and a lot of times, <laughs> you know, these grandmas will always say, "Ah, no, don't worry, I'll see with my eyes. Don't worry." But in that case, we just. Uh, manage manage them, it. Them. Yes. Uh, All right. Thank you so much. Uh, so the green vegetables. Yes. Uh, like I said, they contain antioxidants, lutein, zigzagantin. These are things that helps our vision. We should reduce on our consumption of fat, unprocessed food, excess sugar and salt. All these have to do with healthy eating. Mm. The food in your plate would also go a long way to determine the state of your eyesight. Mm. So if you eat anyhow, your vision, your eyes will be deprived of the right nutrients. Mm. And also, why is this so? Because anything that helps our cardiovascular health mm. also helps in glaucoma. Mm. So, and most of this, cutting down on all this would reduce cardiovascular diseases. We have a call from Potakot. Please go ahead. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Thank you for calling, sir. Please go ahead, sir. Okay. Please, I want to talk to the doctor. I'm calling from Potakot. Hello. Good yes. Morning. Yes, we can hear you. Please go ahead. Okay. Um, I want to know, I'm wearing glasses right now. But my my eyes are still rushing out. I'm, I'm still having a water coming out of my eyes. Mm. And um, I want to also know whether my own is glaucoma or and another thing is um, sometimes mm. sometimes I'll be having some issues around my eyes. It's just as if somebody plugged me around my eyes. Don't be collapsing like that. Hmm. All right, thank you, ma. God bless you. The doctor will get to you now. Okay, doctor. Okay. Um, if I should go by her explanation, she may need to be assessed in the clinic. Okay. I can't draw a conclusion based on the information given. Um, but if she's saying she has water coming out of her eyes with her glasses, if is the glasses more than have you been using it for more than two three years? Mm. You may need to recheck to see if it's still okay. Um, and um, there are some other things we'd look at. She, actually, she she needs to be examined. It may not be glaucoma. It may be something else. Mm. Mm. There should be a proper examination. examination yes. Mm. All right. We have a text. Uh, this person said, "I have a low um, pressure in my eyes, but there are some." Characteristics that might be identified as glaucoma in my eyes. Can it be rectified? Can it be cleared without surgery? Can eye drop resolve it at early stage from Sheung Lagos? He has low pressure. Probably he has gone to the clinic and, and then they was said there are some things that that's like yes. So yeah. probably low tension glaucoma. That could be the case. Not really sure. Now in low tension glaucoma, mm. even though the pressure is within the normal range. The normal range, like I said, is between 11 to 21 millimeter of mercury. Mm. Millimeter of mercury is a unit for the eye pressure measurement. So now, in low pressure glaucoma, the, the range of the pressure could be between this range. We still need to bring the pressure below. So he still he may need an eye drop. Mm. He could also benefit from a um, laser surgery, as the case may be. Mm. He should discuss with the doctor on the mm. best mm. management for him seek for a second opinion elsewhere mm. you understand that will also give him an idea and then he weighs the options and mm. will decide on the best treatment for him all right we have moses hello moses hello hello man yeah thank you sir for calling please go ahead with your question uh my question is that uh, i have a challenge in my eyesight for some time now, and uh, they are disturbing me. Then I don't know to get them to. I will get attended to. Okay. Are you hearing me? Yes, we can hear you, sir. Eh? Hello, sir. We can hear you. 
Okay. Then I was not uh, so hard to let you, but then you did me go to come back here by me. Mm -hmm. This is a about three months or two months from now. And I have a very big challenge to me now. I don't know what to do. Even though I was able to do this, you can medicine for me. He said no. I said, when I died by me, when I come to him, but when I just saw the screen every very morning, I tried to call whether there's authority for me. Okay. And Mr. Moses is calling from Mundo. Who okay. is just referring to the center? Okay, sir. We'll get back to you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, um, this is part of the challenge we have most times in most facilities. Um, most patients cannot really assess. Although, you know, the COVID period has made everybody you know, very careful, careful and restrictions yeah. are put in place. So mm. him being asked to come back, maybe um, people haven't booked for certain days. Mm. Um, that aside, I think he can still assess any clinic around if um, assessing the medical center is posing a challenge, mm. he could assess any clinic around for uh, maybe proper examination. Mm. Okay. Mm. All right, someone said, um, uh, hello, sir. Please, what's the difference between cataracts and prejury? Or what kind of, do they both grow in both eyes, sometimes reddish and painful? Nena from Enugu. Cataract and? Uh, Prejury. Pterygium. Mm. E -E yeah, yeah, pterygium. Yeah. Now, pterygium is a growth on the cornea. Okay. If we can go back to that anatomy mm. again. Okay. The, yes. Pterygium. Please, can we go back yeah. to the, let, me, let me speak to my director. <laughs> Please, director, can we go back to that same diagram again? Yes. Thank you. So, pterygium is a growth. Mm. On now, the, we have it. Yes. On the front surface of the eye, if you are still listening, you see the cornea there. Pterygium is a growth that grows from the white part of the eyes into the cornea. Mm. And most time it gets red, like she said, gets um, inflamed, may be painful, may even affect vision. Cataract, like we said, is a cloudiness mm. of the lens still on that picture. Mm. So the blue structure there, although it's not blue in mm. real life, but the blue structure there is the lens. Okay. So now, if we have, the difference is that pterygium affects the front of the eye, the cornea. Cataract affects the lens, mm. the structure inside the eye. In pterygium, depending on the, the rate of the growth, it may need to be removed. It's a minor surgical mm. procedure, okay. which we shouldn't be scared of. Okay. So, mm. um, okay, thank you so much. We have a call from Patakot. Please go ahead. Hello? Hello? Yes, thank you for calling. Please go ahead with your question. Okay. Good morning. I just want to ask Dr. about an issue. Lately, I observed that my eyes are um, paining me, and sometimes if I want to um, read through my phone or through the system, I, can, I can't see clearly the kind of blurry. And then what has happened? Comes out of the eyes. Mm. All right, you heard that. Okay, blurry when looking at through the phone, probably the system. Um, that could be what we call dry eyes syndrome. People that work on the computer for long hours or that work mostly nowadays, you don't need to work on your computer. Uh, digital devices like your iPad, mm. your iPad serves as computer. And then these devices releases um, ultraviolet rays mm. that um, penetrate the eyes. Mm. Could cause some issues if you're not using a protective lenses. Mm. Like you can see, I'm wearing a protective lenses. Mm. So this helps to reflect um, harmful ultraviolet rays mm. and blue light into mm. the eye. So she is having a, a condition known as dry eye. So our advice, when you're walking, try to blink more often. Try not to stay for long on, your, on the tax you're doing. Try to look away. There's what we call the rule 20, 20, 20. After 20 minutes of work, look 20 feet away. Mm. If you can't measure 20 feet, just look far away, away from your work for 20 seconds. Mm. 
So. All right, yeah. Dr. Chisom, this is how far we can go. But someone sent a text saying that um, he's a member of RCCG in Lagos, um, Olari Waju. He said he was, um, he told him he has glycoma okay. in the right eye that he can't see very well in the hospital okay. at Ikeja last year. I only use the left eye to see now. I've spent money buying drugs, but no improvement. Please, doctor, what can I do? Please, uh, so, since you stay uh, within Lagos, can you please find your way down to the Redeemer's Health Center and ask for Dr. Chisom? You're always there, sir. Yes. Can we meet mm. Monday till to Friday? Till Friday, yes. 24. 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Oh, that's a chisel. Dr. Chisel didn't want me to bother you too much. Too. <laughs> All right. 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Yeah. Dr. Chisel is at Health Center. Just tell them when you get there that you need to see Dr. Chisel. Please, doctor, I know quite a lot of number of people will be coming to see you at the Redeemer's Health Center here yeah, at the Redemption Campground in Ogun State, Nigeria. So please find your way. And, you know, Dr. Chisholm is here with you. Please don't come <laughs> to Job. <laughs> but he's here with us. Thank you so much, sir. Okay. Uh, so much of this information has been passed to us um, this very moment. And a lot of people are taking it more serious now that it's, it's high time we go for this checkup. Check it's this. high time I, Femi, will tell Dr. Chisholm to check my eyes before he <laughs> <laughs> we'll wrap it up with a prayer from you, sir. Thank you and okay. God bless you. All right. Our Heavenly Father, we, we are forever grateful for the success of today's program. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for the lives we've affected. We thank you for those that have made it a point of duty even to abide by the rules and regulations as regards their eyesight. We ask that you give them the grace and the wherewithal to go about this as required in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank you for every one of us here. We ask, Lord, that your grace will continue to remain upon our lives. Amen. You give us the strength to continue in our duties. Amen. In Jesus' name we have Amen. prayed. Amen. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Once again, I want to say thank you. To so all our viewers, we want to be, say a big thank you to you for calling and for sending your text messages. Uh, but remember to always check all the time to go for this checkup to check your eyes don't look at the money don't look at the things that oh they will ask for these they will ask for that please let's try as much as possible to do a regular routine checkup on our eyes the camera crew the director everyone in dope television the engineers the vcr and the mcr thank you over from us bye bye and stay healthy god bless you all